we want to talk about the two main regions of shadows. So we call them the umbra and the penumbra. Now if you look at a shadow, you'll find that it consists of a dark part in the middle. This dark section of the shadow here of the table is called the umbra. And this fuzzy edge part is called the penumbra. I'm going to be using this setup to talk about the two types of shadows. You can see that we have uh, one chair here, which is further from the screen. This wall is acting as our screen. This other chair is much closer to the screen. And I've placed a ball on this one so that we can tell that the one with the ball belongs to the one that was closer to the screen. There's also a parasol here way at the far side of the, of the uh, patio. Uh, that is much further away from the screen than either of these two things. So I want to look at these shadows in the context of uh, this being the closer object, this being further away, and this being very far away from the screen. In this case, the light source is the sun, and the sun is what we call an extended source. In an extended source, the light is coming from a series of points. Um, and so an extended source has a sort of a diagram like this. So you can imagine that the um, sun itself being a big ball, the shape. Light can come from the very top, from the various parts across the middle, all the way to the very bottom. So the two extreme points that light can come from in the sun are this top end and this bottom end. And if we draw rays from those top end and bottom end past the shadow casting object, um, then we find that they define where the edges of these regions will be. And you maybe have a diagram in your um, physics book that looks like this. So there's a region that the light basically can't get to at all. And we call that the umbra. But once you get past these edges, you start to see some sections that the light can get to and so these sections would be like from totally black gradually decreasing in shadow strength until we're totally white and if you were out here you would be able to see the entire light source if you were here you would be able to see part of the light source if you were here you wouldn't be able to see the light source at all and that's sort of varying if i can see the whole light source then all the light can reach me if I can only see part of the light source, then only a percentage of the light can reach me. If I can't see the light source, none of the light can reach me. And that's why it's getting gradually darker there. But the penumbra you can see here will depend on how close we are to the screen. So if the screen's way back here, the penumbra is quite big. And if the screen's way up here, the penumbra is small. And that's what I want to show you in these shadow diagrams that if we change how far the object is from the screen, we change the amount of penumbra that you get. So I'm going to zoom in and have a look at the shadows. So the first shadow here is for the object that's closest to the screen. You can see it's very well defined. There's not much evidence of a penumbra. It does have a penumbra. If we look, you can see it definitely does have an edge. It's just very small. And so this looks like a much sharper image as a result. And if we compare two places where these images over or get near to each other, you can see that although there is a penumbra on this, it's very much smaller than the penumbra on the neighbouring shadow for the object that's much further away. And if we go to the other extreme where the parasol is, you can see that the comparison between these two is that this one has a penumbra, but this one has considerably more penumbra. And if you have a look, as I zoom out, you can see that effect. So very little penumbra here because it's close to the screen, 
much more penumbra here because it's further out from the screen and this is very far from the screen so you can see it's got a significant amount of penumbra here and again if I bring back that diagram then if we put up a screen here then the idea is that if something is far from the screen like the parasol here it will have quite a bit of penumbra something in the in-between like this will have a lot less penumbra because the object is closer to the screen and something where the object here is very close to the screen will have even less penumbra and therefore have a much more clearly defined shadow and that's what's really going on with this it's a combination of how big this light source is which will obviously widen out these triangles here we make this much wider and how close this object is to the screen those are the two things that really define what's going on with umbra and penumbra okay then thanks for watching